is Lyoto the Dragon Machida, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but no more as a Shotokan Karate black belt. If you're looking for guys who really put the discipline of karate on the UFC map, look no further than this man, Lyoto Machida. And how about the list of wins for Lyoto Machida? Mark Munoz, Dan Henderson, Ryan Bader, Randy Couture, Tiago Silva. Lyoto Machida has a wins list that competes with anybody in UFC history. Lyoto Machida is the most successful karate stylist to ever compete inside the octagon. The former UFC light heavyweight champion has a very unique and difficult style to solve. Well, you can argue, Joe, this is the most devastating knockout artist in UFC history. The Brazilian legend, Vitor Belfort. He has finished all of his UFC wins, most of those in round one, and he's doing that consistently against the best the sport has to offer. Your thoughts tonight? I guess most people expect the former champion, Vitor Belfort, will get after it early and often here as usual. Vitor Belfort has some of the fastest hands in mixed martial arts. He's been competing against the top guys in the division for many, many years. And after a long absence, he returned to the UFC with a first round knockout over Rich Franklin. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Vitor Afino! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Go, I'm very ready? excited. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Belfort gets touched by that kick to the body. Dismissing on a high kick there. Machida gets caught by the inside leg. He got tagged there. Oh! Oh! Keeps leg hand! Big body shot. shot. Body. Back up. High kick! Oh! He tagged him. He tagged him. They're inside control. as he looks to improve position here. 
He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. How about that shin? Oh, he missed that kick. And both guys really throwing with a thorn. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. He landed that punch flush. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, man, is that a hard inside leg kick, Joe. You wonder how many more he can take. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Now connects with the right. That one hurt. He's trying to kick the leg out. Hard kick lands. He hurt him again. He's hanging on here, and he is in big, big trouble. Good uppercut attempt. Oh, nice jab by Belfort. Fainting with that kick. Oh, a huge inside leg kick for him. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Machida gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up. Nice. Oh! oh! He hurt him! That's it! And that's gonna do it! Wow! What a knockout! Vito Belfort has done it again! Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. And here it is again. Boom. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official.